Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a floating text. So if you are, as an example, using a health potion, you will have this green text. And if you are damaging an enemy, you'll have the red damage instead. Before we start, I would like to thank all my patrons for the support. I really appreciate it. And remember, all the scripts and prefabs I'm using for my tutorials can be found on my Patreon site. Let's get to it. So what I have in my scene here is my player. He has a simple player movement script. We have uh, yeah, the, the graphic, the sprite. We have a rigid body. We have the capsule collider for him. We have an uh, enemy. <laughs> it's the same character. So he has the same things, uh, just not the, the movement script. So let's start creating a new canvas. So let's say UI canvas. And this we can call combat text canvas. This will be a, a world space canvas. The order in layer, I will set it to 999. So it will always be in front of everything. So you can see the numbers uh, popping up. Then we need to create a text underneath this one. So a UI text. Call this combat text. Let's say five here. Now scale it down. If you double click it, you will go to the text. Oops, sorry for that. Here we go. Now take the text and move it. Let me see. Oops. Uh, why can't I get it here? Let's move it down here. Let me take the game window, window over here. So you can see now it's way too large. So let's make it two, three, maybe. Something like this. Let's move it up here. Let's make it two. And remember to center it both ways. Now you can drag this like this. And it actually doesn't matter where you have it. We can just begin to have it here. <clears throat> so now let's create the script for this. So let's create a new script and call this the combat text. And let's open it up. Now let's make uh, a civilized field. And here we need a private float for our speed. We need another civilized field for our private text. And here we need to implement using TM Pro if you are using TextMess Pro. So TextMess Pro. And this will be the, the text. Then we have another serialized field, and this will be a private float for our lifetime. So the time it will take before it will fade out, and this is the speed how far how fast it will go uh, up. It will float. Then we need to make a new public void and call it move text, and in here we can say transform dot translate. And here we need to take a vector two dot up. We will multiply it with the speed and multiply it with time dot delta time. So this will make uh, make the text float up. So let's save this. Then we need to create a i enumerator. So let's make a public i enumerator, and this will be the fade out. So. And here we need some uh, some floats. So first we'll take a float for our start alpha, and the start alpha will be equal to the text dot color dot alpha. We will have a rate, so the a new float rate is equal to one divided with the lifetime. Then we have a float for our progress. Uh, progress, and this was be equal to 0 0.0. <clears throat> and then we need a while loop. So let's say while our progress is less uh, than 1. Then our color, we will make a new one uh, called temporary. This is equal to our text.color. Then our temporary color dot alpha is equal to math f dot lerp and here it will lerp from the start alpha 
to zero. So the the start alpha is equal to text. So when it starts, it, the text uh, alpha will of course be 100. And that is the number you will have here. And then it will go to zero. So it's fading out and we will do that with the progress. Then our text dot color is equal to our temporary file. And then progress plus equal the rate times time dot delta time. And here we will yield return null. When it is done fading out, we will of course destroy the game object so it will not uh, be in the game all the time. And we need to remember here in the update, let's say move text. And in the start function, we will call our curating. So start curating and we will call the fade out. Oh, sorry, fade out like this. So when when this text is instantiated, we will do that in a moment, then the curating will start. So it will start fading out from 100 to zero. And the float, uh, the text where it's moving up, we will do that here. And that will be in the update because it's moving all the time. So let's save this and head back. Now let's take your combat text, attach the script to it. Let's set the speed to two, the lifetime to two, and the text is yourself here. So if we hit play now, you can see the text is going up and it's floating out. So now let's make it the correct color, depending on if you are healing or you are uh, creating damage. So let's take this compass text, drag it to your uh, folder to make a prefab. Now you can delete it from the scene. Let's create a new script, call it the combat text manager. Attach the combat text manager to the, uh, to the canvas. Let's open it up. First, let's uh, make it a, a singleton so we can uh, attach it uh, or we can access it from uh, other scripts. So let's make a private uh, static combat text manager and it's an instance and then we will say public let me see public static combat text manager called my instance and he will get if instance is equal to null then instance is equal to find object of type and he will find the combat text manager like this and then we will return the instance here let's do that <clears throat> then we need a reference to the to the prefab that we want to instantiate so let's make a serialized field and here we need a private game object and this will be the combat text prefab and we can delete the start and update here then we will uh, make a new public void called create text. We need to take in some variables, so a vector. And here we need to take in uh, a position, we will call it. Then we need a string for our text. And then we need the, uh, let me, we need to add that first, so the color. So up here on the top, oh, let me zoom in a bit, sorry for that. Uh, we'll make a public enum and here we'll call color type and here you can uh, list uh, all the different colors that you need and in our case for this example we will only use damage and we'll use heal. You can always add more to it if uh, that is needed. So this text will take in our color type and we'll just call it type. So the first thing that we will need is a new reference to our TextMess Pro. We need to implement it up here. So using GM Pro, then we have TextMess Pro GRI, and here we will call the type text is equal to instantiate. Now we will instantiate 
38. We will do the combat text prefab, where will we instantiate it? At our transform dot get component text mass pro like this. Then we will take our type text dot transform dot position is equal to the position that we have up here. Then we will need a string for our sign. So if it is a plus or a minus, if it's uh, you're gaining health, it's a plus, and if you're taking damage, it's a minus. So and then we need a string dot empty. Then we need to switch. So if you make a switch and you double tap, then you will automatically create this, or you can just write it yourself. And we will switch between our type. If you write type and hit enter, all this should automatically come. If it's not, you can just copy this. Here we will say, if it's damage, then our sign plus equal minus. If it's heal, then the sign plus equal a plus sign. Also, we need in the damage, we can say our uh, type text dot color is equal to color dot red. For the healing, the type text dot color is equal to color dot green. And after all this, we will say our type text dot text is equal to our operation. After all this, we will say our type text dot text is equal to our sign plus the text. So let's save this. Now, when we are back, we have our combat text prefab. So let's drag that in. Now we need to uh, instantiate it in the correct uh, time. There are many ways to uh, to do this. I will just use an example here. I will open up my player script. In my player script, I will make some serialized fields here. And the first one will be a private integer for our health pot uh, amount. This is when I'm gaining health. How much health should I get? Uh, you probably maybe have uh, it in your inventory that you have to click it, then you should just paste it there. Then we have a serialized fields for our uh, private int, and this will be our damage to give. Then we have a serialized fields for uh, private transform, and this will be the target that needs the damage. Then we can go down to here, make another on collision enter 2D. And if, col if collision dot game object dot tag is equal to the enemy, then target is e Oh, I was missing something here. Oops, I need, of course, if. <laughs> Collision game the tag is equal to the enemy. Then the target is equal to the collision dot game of the tag. Oh, sorry, dot uh, transform. And again, this is only f uh, to test it out. Uh, you probably have uh, when you click the enemy or, or something like that, then you will have your target. Um, that's another way to do it. This is again, just for testing purpose. Then if you go up to the update here, we can say if mm, if in input dot get key down and I will use uh, key code dot h uh, sorry I made it wrong here like this then we will take our combat text manager dot my instance dot create the text we will where do we want to create this text this will be for uh, healing or helping <laughs> healing so that we want we will like to pop up at the player so at our transform dot position then we will what do we want to show we will show the health amount health pot amount 
dot to string. And then what color do we need? Sorry, in here. We will go for the type. Oh, what did I call that? Uh, we will go for the color type. And this will be healing. Like this. We can copy paste this below. This will be for the damage. He will use G. We will do the same, but now it should not pop up at uh, on top of us. Now it will be the target. The transform the position, and here we need the damage to give instead, and the type will be damage. So let's save this and head back. And now when you're back on your your player here, I will have a health amount. Let's set it to five. The damage to give. Let's set it to ten. The target. The enemy I have here, remember to tag it as enemy if you're using the same example as me. And then the player, when I collide with the enemy here, the target will be the enemy. Yeah, let's hit play and see how it works. So let's say that I am using my health pot now, so that's H. You can see I get plus 5 health. And if I go to the target, you can see the target here will be the enemy, and if I hit G now, it will take 10 damage. Yeah, that was what I had to show you in uh, this video. I really hope it uh, helped you out. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button below if you wish to see more videos from me. Thank you and see you next time.